What's up guys? So I want to make a video here and thank you for all the new subscribers and I really appreciate when you guys watch and comment down below because I want to um, share my knowledge of God's word with you and have it help you. Okay, so this topic is, you know, why do bad things happen on the earth? If God is in control, why does he let bad things happen? Here's a few points, okay? God is not in control. God is not in control, okay? You have to realize that, okay? Now, let me backtrack so I can explain. In the Garden of Eden, God gave Adam dominion over everything that crawled, over all the beasts of the field, over everything. Adam named every animal. Adam was in control. God gave him dominion or control or authority on earth. Okay, now, Satan came and deceived Eve. Adam went along with it, and they both sinned against God. Okay, uh, now, when they sinned against God, they broke fellowship with God. And Adam's authority was transferred to Satan. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 says, Satan is the God of this world. Now, if Satan is the God of this world, that's why these bad things happen. Two reasons. First of all, uh, the their sin entered when Adam sinned, okay? Not so much Eve, but Adam sinned, okay? That broke fellowship, that caused a curse to come on the earth which caused, um, okay, uh, pain in childbirth for, for women. Uh, men had to work by the sweat of their brow when things produced before easily. Um, tornadoes came, death came, animals fighting animals came, you know, the lion, uh, uh, all those things, snakes with venom, all the evil earthquakes, evil came and a fallen creation uh is what happened when um adam sinned okay the curse came and that's why you see so many things like tornadoes natural disasters they're not acts of god they're acts of sin they're the result of sin the bible says that the wages or the punishment or the penalty of sin is death so um, not only separation from God, but physical death, okay? That's why people die. God didn't set that up, but Adam in his free will sinned against God and allowed these things to happen. Back to my first point, Satan became the God of this world, okay? Not all, the Bible says that God, that Satan has the eyes of people blinded. That's why you have to pray to remove that uh, blinding from people's eyes so the light of the gospel shines on them. Satan is the one that's in control on earth, okay? And he motivates people to do evil. So you have to look at it like this. Um, it's like God is the landlord and uh, he rented the house, earth, out to us. Now, Jesus came to give us back our authority. Jesus came, was made sin for us on the cross, he became a curse because he was on the cross. The Bible says, cursed is every man who hangs on the tree. Jesus took that curse for us. So, and uh, Jesus took back our authority. He took it from Satan and gave it to us. Now, Satan is still the God of this world until things happen at the end of the age where Jesus comes back. But we now, Jesus, the, Jesus gave us the keys to uh, life and hell. Okay, he said, "Whatever we bind on earth is bound in uh, our earth. Whatever is bound in heaven is bound in heaven." So we have authority now. We've been made to sit together with Christ. Okay, now if you believe uh, Jesus can take authority over things, we've been made to sit together with Him. He's the head; we're the body. So He's given us His authority. Now we're supposed to act. We're supposed to not allow evil to happen in our lives. We're supposed to pray and listen to the Holy Spirit as He leads us and guides us. The Bible says, 
uh, that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God will lead you away from evil. And if you practice things and listen to the Holy Spirit and do things as the Bible says, you will avoid evil. Or you can take God's word and overcome it. The Bible says that in the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So, bad things happen as a result of the curse. As a Christian, when you accept Jesus into your life, he redeems you from the curse. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says that. And then when we walk and are um, knowledgeable of our authority and our rights in God's word, we can overcome and be overcomers. The Bible says that the righteous shall reign as kings in life. But here's the thing. A lot of Christians don't know this. They think it's an act of God. All things happen for a reason. So if you think God's hurting you when it's really the devil, how are you going to resist? Right? The Bible says if you resist the devil, he shall flee. And what did the devil come to do, Jesus said? To steal, kill, and destroy. So when you find out who, when you find out uh, who the God of this world is, it's really Satan. God can't do anything really unless you ask him to. Just like I said about the landlord, um, he can't get into your house unless you let him in because you signed the lease. Okay, so you're in control of it. The landlord owns it, but you're in control of it until certain things happen. Right. So keep this in mind when. Uh, Jesus said the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan's the God of this world. If you notice these bad things happening, resist it with God's word. And um, I'll talk more about how to do that in the future. But uh, know that evil doesn't come from God. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above. So keep that in mind, okay? Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And tell other people about the channel so it grows.